Hi, Vishal here and uh, welcome back to my channel and uh, this is another topic that I have been thinking for quite a while so I decided to you know just think aloud on my channel and share my thoughts what I think. The topic that I have been thinking about is you know why doesn't India become a smartphone manufacturing hub even though India has the best software engineers. You might heard from people saying that you know China is a shitty country we need to ban all Chinese products we anyway manufacture mobile phones in India. But just because it was written on his smartphone that it is made in India is it really made in India? Here is the catch though. None of the smartphones is manufactured in India at least as of now but they are assembled in India. All the spare parts are from China, Taiwan, South Korea, the USA and several other countries. Some companies import those parts to India and assemble here to just to get some tax benefit from the government. So let's admit it, India is a software country and not a hardware country. You might find the best engineers of the world in India with the sharpest brain, but we actually suck in manufacturing things. There are multiple reasons, high expenses, unavailability of resources, lack of infrastructure, above all cheaper and sometimes better Chinese products. To be honest, chips are required for literally everything in our smartphone processor, microphone, speaker, antenna, etc. Basically, everything that thing that has a circuit board requires a chip. Chips are made from sand, and we have abundant sand, right? Probably yes, but we lack the resources to take sand to turn into a chip. Uh, there's a process in making turning the sand into a chip. It's called lithography and you know how much does a machine of lithography cost? It's about 120 million dollars Which is equal to you know uh, uh, if, if I do a quick math here, it's about equal to 90 crores means that that that's quite quite a lot of money for a company to invest in and how much machine uh, is India having right now? Zero. Zero lithographic machine. Oh, how many machines does China have? They have 350 of them. So even if we buy two or three, it is not sufficient for Indian demand provided that all companies will use it. Eventually, it is cheaper to import products than to buy that machine and use it. That just become a demand and supply thing at that point. I personally feel that it is not even necessary for Indian government or any business to buy that machine because it is not worth it. Reason? Climate condition of India are simply not favorable for manufacturing the electronic parts. Bengaluru is the only startup hub in India because it is the only city that is slightly favorable for electronics. When it comes to manufacturing such fine parts, temperature and humidity can substantially affect productivity. Another aspect is display panels. Our display is the only component in the smartphone that doesn't require a chip. It's made purely from glass or plastic. The best quality of display panels come from Samsung. Even Apple iPhones have display panels made by Samsung. According to, to Samsung, the majority of its display manufacturing takes place in South Korea, China and Taiwan. However, Samsung built its factory in Noida, Uttar Pradesh, which is also the largest factory in the world. So yeah, we can hope that we'll soon start making display panels in India. Other major players include LG, Shah, Foscon, etc., which make display panels in their respective countries. Indian companies make display units but they are LCD displays and the quality is not too good. I don't think you would even like them in your smartphone. So infrastructure is one of the major components in taking up any manufacturing task. So China is vast in terms of population in India while India is an agricultural country and agriculture employs about 49 to 50 percent of the population. According to the Indian Cellular Association's report to business today, India can only assemble 270 million smartphones as compared to China, which produces 1.1 billion per year. Also, China works on economies of scale along with the full fledged ecosystem. Let's understand it in easier terms. It's cheaper to produce and sell 1000 products rather than making and selling a single product. That's how the wholesale market works. Skilled labor is way too cheap in China as compared to any other country. Another aspect is logistics. Another important point to note is that companies are making all the components in China. So logistics becomes cheaper in that sense. Importing four different parts and assembling costs higher due to expenses India is lacking there. 
as a result of mass production and the complete ecosystem at the same place cost per unit production is the cheapest in china another factor is cost of electricity currently the price of electricity in china is about uh, 0.077 usd per kilowatt hour contrarily the price of electricity in india is almost the same 0.078 usd per kilowatt hour this might not, not feel like a huge difference but when it comes to millions of kilowatt hour, hour and that too for a long time it tends to make a difference also indian rupee is weaker than chinese yuan in the international market so it is more likely a loss for india Another aspect is incentives and benefits provided by the uh, our country for manufacturing. China has been welcoming global companies to manufacture in their country by giving several benefits and incentives for a very long time. India didn't even talk about making India until a few years back. This is where we left behind. We started a bit little, bit late. That's it. It's like a student waking up at last moment to study for an exam the next day, while the topper has been studying since the beginning of the year. So positive sides before we manufacture mobiles in India, uh, you know, with the recent stable condition, India seems to be getting more global company. We see more investment these days. Samsung opened its largest factory, as I said, in Noida. Uh, Apple iPhone uh, maker Foxconn has already built its plant in Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu. Oppo, Vivo, Realme, Xiaomi, and several other brands brands have their assembly plants in India. So I agree with the point that these companies are mainly assembling their phones in India, but it's still a thin line of hope. Almost every assembly factory eventually turns into a manufacturing plant, just you know, to uh, because their labors have been skilled uh, in in their product, so manufacturing becomes that a tad bit easier. So let's hope that India uh, will soon start producing smartphones and other electronic products in India. So that is my hope. Keeping my fingers crossed. Have a good day. Bye-bye.